Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Today I'd just like to talk a little bit about the NVIDIA Jetson TX2. I've got a bunch of stuff planned for it here. Um, it's basically, you know, just like a super AI supercomputer, basically, right? You'd low power, very similar to say like a, you know, Raspberry Pi type thing, only on super steroids. I just got in the, the Jetson TX2 module plus the developer kit uh, a few days ago. And uh, it's, it's a beast. It's got 256 CUDA cores in it, all sorts of stuff. You know, of course, the SDIO, if you've watched my Raspberry Pi tutorials, I'm building a Land Cruiser powered by, you know, controlled by the, um, an iPhone app or an Android app, then, then you probably may get, may get a little excited about this. But this is the TX2 developer kit that I got the other day, and I'll be going into that on, a, on another tutorial. But uh, one of the things I really want to go over today is... In order to take and, and, and build real life stuff, I'm going to, I figured I would need to go ahead and finally invest in a 3D printer there. So I went on Amazon and did a little bit of research and um, I bought this this uh, Quiddy X Pro. I don't even know if that's how you say this Quiddy. I'm not being paid by them or anything like that. Don't necessarily endorse this printer, but it's just what I chose because it had like dual extruders and so on and so forth there. And I gotta tell you right out of the box, it was, it was pretty simple setup there too. Now, one of my other things there, one of my other favorite pieces of software is actually Blender, and I've been using Blender 3D for a long time for all sorts of purposes, you know. But uh, Blender 3D, I'm going to show you guys today how we can, how you can actually use Blender 3D to create a create a printable 3D model there. Uh, and of course, one of the things I love about Blender is it's open source, it's th it's free, it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, so I'm going to pull up uh, a couple of pictures here just to kind of get you guys started on this here. Um, this is a picture of my, my office. It's kind of a, you know, whatever here. I got my mining rig over here, some soldering stuff there. You probably recognize my oscilloscope from a few of the tutorials I did on that. But here's the Quiddy printer right here. The X-Pro printer, I probably should say in case I'm pronouncing that wrong. And it fits nicely on my desk here. Um, so here's the Jetson TX2 still in the box over here. I did open it up, but I put it back in there. Um, let's see, I'll go do a little bit. So that's basically what it looks like here. And I got my little brand new GoPro Hero 6 too. And um, that's, that's pretty good. I might, might do a little review on that. Maybe not though. All right, let's go ahead and pop open Blender here. Okay, so um, if you've never used Blender, I'm just gonna go through some, some simple stuff here. This, is, this isn't really meant to be a Blender tutorial, but I am gonna show you how we can do the, the printing here. First thing I'm gonna do is hit delete on the keyboard, and then I'm gonna come down here and add, and there's all kinds of shortcuts and everything like that, but I'm going to add a little mesh here. I'm gonna do this, this icosphere right here, right? And then I'm gonna hit the three over there on my numbers lock, which moves to kind of like a side side view there, right? And then I'm going to hit Z, which, which just basically shows us all the wireframe. I'm gonna hit tab to go into edit mode, and then I'm gonna hit A to deselect everything. Now I'm gonna hit B to box select, and then I'm just going to grab all of these vertices below this green line right here, which is the Y axis, and I'm gonna hit delete, okay? All right, now I'm gonna hit Z, and I'm gonna hit tab, which takes us out of tab mode. And if I hold down my little mouse wheel and then I move around, you can see we've got this big empty, empty space right underneath here, right? Okay, so I'm gonna hit three again to go to the side mode here. Hit Z, tab, go back into the edit mode. I'm gonna select this little edge tool right here. I'm gonna box select this, right? Which basically is only selecting that. And then I'm gonna hit F and that puts a face on there. So now if I hit tab to go out of that, I'm gonna hit Z again. Right, you can see we've got a nice enclosed thing, and that's critical. You can't have any holes or anything like that, okay? So that, uh, now let's export this into what's called an STL file there. So if we go up to File, and then Export, and then we select STL, right? I'm going to go to my C drive. i got this little 3D print folder here. And I'm just going to call this uh, geodome.stl, um, right? And I'm going to export this to that XTL file. Okay, so for the purposes of this, this little uh, talking about on this video, we're basically done with Blender. Now this uh, this Quiddy print, uh, you can get it from their website or it comes on this little thumb drive that comes with a uh, with the 3D printer there, is 
is basically their slicing software there. And let's go ahead and open that up here. <coughs> and so what we're going to do is click on this little file button here and then see I've already got it set to the 3D print folder and here's Geodome, right? And when we, oh, you know what? I totally screwed this up. Let's go ahead and, I uh, didn't set my settings. And let's, oh, what the hey, let's pop back over here to Blender, right? And one of the things I did not do, um, I'm gonna go up to, I'm gonna press the seven on the number lock, which takes us up to the top view. And then I'm gonna hit uh, seven. And then I'm gonna hit five, which takes us out of perspective view. Things are completely things I forgot to do here was go ahead and set all of the uh, all the sizes here. So so units, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do millimeters here. And uh, unit scale, we're gonna do one, right? And um, then let's go ahead and pop this open here. And let's change the dimensions on this here, right? So basically, on the X, I'm gonna do 40 millimeters, right? Which is four centimeters by four, 40 millimeters by 20 high, right? That'll keep our same perspectives here. And I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, and then I'm gonna hit the number three to go down to the side, right? And now, so now we actually have this thing actually being four centimeters by four centimeters by two centimeters tall, right? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and resave this STL file there. Export uh, STL, Geodome. Let's go ahead and overwrite that there. All right, let's pop back and reopen the Quiddy print there. Can't believe I forgot that, but I'm just winging this, this little video here anyway. And let's go up to File and let's select the Geodome. There we go. Now we've got a more, more impressive size one there. All right, so um, ready to slice. So they got this little view thing here. They got like x-rays, you can kind of uh, layers. Layers was kind of interesting, I thought, you know. Um, we're gonna go ahead and prepare this here. <clears throat> okay, so now, and I haven't played around with this this software much there, but you can see it kind of built like these. It did the slicing and did the infill and everything like that. And you can run through all of the layers that it's going to do. Um, 111 is what it says up here is to build, the, build out the whole entire thing. Okay, so now, um, this turned to save to removable drive and of course uh, right now I haven't figured out how to do the Wi-Fi on this thing so I'm just using a little thumb drive that they provided with this. We'll just select save to re removable drive, right? And that saved it over to this, uh, to the D drive and called it this, uh, this X underscore geodome, okay? Um, so then basically all we do is we take this thumb drive out and we put it over into the, the Quiddy print um, there is there is a lot of other videos out there per se on on uh, on this X Pro there, and I would recommend you know going and looking at those because I'm not going to redo all those. It looks like a just a lot of work on describing that. Um, just off topic, this took me about an hour to put together. I did watch a lot of those other videos out there. But anyway, you pop that in, and there's little controls right down here that you press and select the file, and then everything like that. And I'm gonna show you guys what the uh, what the video actually. I took a time lapse with the uh, with my new Hero GoPro Hero Six, and that's basically what it looked like as it as it built that. It actually did take about half an hour to print the whole entire thing out. So these things really are, you know, not all that fast there per se, but they do do a pretty good job. And I I thought it was, you know, the the end part, the end piece was actually pretty decent quality. Um, let me pull up some of the other pictures that I that I took of that there. Um, <clears throat> this is what it ended up being looking like there. Of course, you can see all the layers and everything like that, but I am really zoomed in on this thing, and there's the bottom, you know, and it seemed pretty strong. I mean, I stood on it with my foot, and it didn't collapse it or anything like that. And so and this is using what's called the PLA stuff there. So Anyway, I think that'll probably about do it for this video. I'm just going to run through the through the time-lapse print one more time there, and um, I think that'll pretty much conclude it. Thanks for watching.